Hey Crush, I'm back with a video this week. Uh, after me, I just took last week off, holiday weekend, skipped it. I'm sure you guys were dying because you didn't get to see my video. So, it's back. Uh, not much for announcements this week. The only announcement I have for the video is that Girls Gone RX is on September 17th. We have one team signed up, Risa, Steph, and uh, Coach Caitlin are signed up. So uh, if you've never done Girls Gone RX, it's a great competition. It's obviously ladies only. Um, last year we had four teams do it. Uh, if you've never done a competition before, this is a really cool competition for your first time. Uh, they make it really accessible for everybody and anybody that wants to do it. So if you'd like to put together a team, um, put one together, sign up. Send them to the Girls Gone RX website. If you want to compete, um, but you don't know who to ask or um, you need help finding uh, teammates, let me know. I'll be happy to orchestrate that. Um, as I hear people talk about it, I'll start to know that so-and-so is interested and so-and-so is interested, I'll, I'll hook you guys up. So if you're a morning person and you're looking for teammates, I'll get you some afternoon people. It's a lot of fun. Um, we usually have three, four teams do it every year. Um, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. I like to go watch, can't compete obviously, but I like to go watch, it's a good time. So Girls Gone RX is September 17th. All right, the question I'm gonna cover that's on the whiteboard back there has been up for a few weeks, time to cover it. It's mobility. Should you do it? When should you do it? How much, etc. cetera? Uh, pretty straightforward, yes. You should mobilize, you should stretch, you should um, keep yourself loose. Uh, yeah, you should do it. How much? I would say that depends. I, I know, so uh, a couple things from my experience. Uh, one, before I owned the gym, I used to have more time for TV and I would watch a little more TV at night and I would have my foam roller upstairs and I would just roll out while I, while I um, watch TV. Great time just to kind of get it done, kind of stretch it on the floor and just stretch a little bit. Now, uh, every time before I work out, there's a few stretches I go through. I always roll out my back. I roll out my legs, my front of my legs, my back of my legs. Um, I do some basic stretches. My knees kind of bother me as I'm getting older, so I'm doing some more hip stretches, some more Spider-Mans. Um, I found for me that my knees tend to hurt because my hamstrings and my uh, inner thighs, my groin area, um, those get tight, and those muscles in the back tend to pull on my kneecap. Um, so I try to stretch those a lot. My hips, my hips have always been tight. I try to stretch my hips. So I have certain problem areas that I tend to focus most of my mobility on. Um, my mobility routine takes me about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. It doesn't take me very long, so it doesn't take long to do mobility. If you want to do it, you don't need to allocate like an hour to do it. I know a lot of people, myself included, um, when they do mobility, like I said, it doesn't take long, but they just don't feel like they have the time or they don't dedicate the time. If you can come to the gym 10 minutes early, um, and get that done before we start to warm up. It's a great time to do it. I know that uh, the morning classes, the early morning classes, um, some is usually here no later than 10 minutes till, so if you roll in here at 4.50 for your 5 a.m. class, um, the gym should be open, you have time. There's lots of people, there's by at least a handful of people are here every morning, about 4.45, 4.50 to get that some of that mobility stuff done. Um, the 4.30 class, uh, you know, especially when I coach those, I'm usually here by four o'clock. I'm usually here plenty before the 4.30 class. There's time before that. And obviously all the other classes, there's classes prior to that. So you can, um, you know, there's time. 8 a.m. class, usually I'm kind of milling around here between the 6 a.m. and the 8 a.m. class anyway. Um, but there's time for it, right? You only need 10, 15 minutes. I would focus on the areas that really um, need it. I always said that if you have a problem in your joints, then the problem is upstream or downstream with your muscles. So again, my knees, usually my knees are upstream, up my leg, that's right, I work on it. If you have bad shoulders, maybe you work your triceps, your biceps, your chest, your back, you can roll on it, there's all kinds of stretches. If you need help with that, all the coaches are great to help you with things you can do to help stretch and to help mobilize. So yes, you need to do it. Um, how often, daily, how, how long per session, what kind of depends on what you're trying to stretch. Um, you know, some people don't need it as much. So they come in, they get it done in five minutes. But if I take that foam roll and start rolling out, I can get my back. I always do my uh, upper back first. Then I do my lower back. I do those in two different sections. Um, then I hit my legs. Then I stretch out my um, my hips a little bit. And I'll stretch out my quads a little bit. Stretch out hamstrings a little bit. Ten minutes at most. And that's 
if I really focused on it, it's probably even less than that. But usually I roll around for 10, 15 minutes, I'm kind of chatting with people. So as I'm doing, I'm just kind of screwing around and chatting with people. But that's the great thing about mobility is you can get yourself in a nice position and get a good stretch, work on the mobility, and still chat with people. So if you get to class a little early, if you're one of those people that rolls in here right at the start of class, you have to do that mobility stuff at home. Um, but yes, you should do it. Length, duration, all that kind of stuff, frequency, you know, it's not really a right or wrong answer. I would just do it, get a routine in, and uh, knock it out. And if you need help, let me know. If you have suggestions, if you want to put on the whiteboard, want me to demo some stuff and how to how to help with some mobility, whether it's shoulders, whether it's your elbows, or your knees, or your back, um, let me know. I've done those in the past. I'll be more than happy to do those again. I know a lot of people are either new or haven't seen the videos or haven't seen the ones in the past where I did some stretching stuff. I'll be happy to do that again. So if you have questions about mobility and want me to go through it in the video and you can incorporate that yourself, again, just put that suggestion on the little whiteboard back there, what you would like me to cover for mobility. I'll be happy to do that. All right. Today's or this week's workouts. Um, Monday is going to be max effort Monday, but it's a different kind of max effort Monday. We're going to have a three minute window. In that three minute, you must complete a certain amount of work. And then after that three minutes of work, max cows on the bike or the rower. You're gonna alternate rounds, but it's gonna be um, a different kind. On, on uh, Tuesday, as I'm just reading this, I, I just had an idea. We're gonna test our one rep max back squats, which originally is in here, because we've been doing the sets of 10 back squats, seems that makes us stronger. Uh, I think I'm gonna put a second option or maybe you do both. Maybe you can somehow do both. That's fine too. Um, or maybe I'm gonna put our five rep max back squat in there as well. The reason I'm thinking that is I've had a couple other people express this to me. And this definitely applies to me that if I don't get under a maximal load, I have a hard time squatting at that really high percentage. So if I'm not routinely getting under a 90, 95% of my one rep max back squat, especially if I haven't done that heavy of a weight in a while, for me, it's really hard for me to lift that weight unless I kind of warm into it or have various sessions getting into it. And when we've done these set of 10s, we've never gotten ourselves under a really heavy load. Now it's been heavy in the sense that doing 10 reps at that weight gets really heavy by reps six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, but it's not ever heavy where we get the bar off the rack and we're like, oh my God, this weight feels like it's gonna crush me. And that's generally what, for me anyway, maybe it's just my mental incapacities, that that's what it feels like to me. So, I'm gonna put the five rep max back squat on there. That you might have a bigger jump in something like that if you know your five rep max back squat. I think a lot of us in here know our one rep max, I guess 80 to 90% of us know that. Not many might not know their five rep back squat, but I'm gonna put that in there and give you the option. You can do either your five rep or your one rep, or if you're good, you wanna do both. I mean, by all means, you can do both. Um, but I think they're kind of, It'd be hard to do both. Anyway, we're gonna so we're gonna test that back squat. See if the set of ten have, have benefited us, and then we have a quick ten minute AMRAP with a partner of rowing and floor press. You're gonna alternate rounds. Should be pretty quick rounds. It's ten minutes, but I'm guessing you can get um, one round done about every minute, minute fifteen. And then we're gonna do Angie on Wednesday. Angie's a hundred pull ups, sit ups, push ups, and squats. Uh, I don't know if it's in that order, but you do hundred. You have to do all hundred pull ups first, and then I think you do hundred sit ups or push ups next, whatever. On Thursday, we're going to do a strength every, every minute on the minute for three minutes. We're going to do one, three hang power snatch and three overhead squat in the same minute. We can put a score in, but if you want to RX it, you must pick a weight and maintain that weight throughout. So pick a challenging weight and see if you can do your three hang power snatch and three overhead squats every minute. And then we're going to have a quick little Metcon quickish with some hang power snatch, box jumps, and single hand double press. So we've done double press often with two dumbbells. This one you have just one dumbbell and switch hands every devil press. On uh, what day we have? Friday. We're gonna do a CrossFit.com workout I saw last month that I thought would really be fun. You can do four rounds of 15 jerks or 15 shoulder to overhead at three quarters of your body weight. So have an idea of what your body weight is. Three quarters of that, you'll take it from the ground. So you gotta pick it up as well. Four rounds, 15 jerks at three quarters of your body weight, 50 air squats. I'll probably put a, a scale version or maybe it's three, 15 jerks at half your body weight, something like that. Uh, that is your Friday. Have a good week, Crush.